Now let's say you want to add a credit roll at the end of your video project or movie. Well, it's really easy with Sony Vegas Pro. You just click on Media Generators like so. And instead of going to Prototype Title here, we're going to go up to Credit Roll. The easiest way to do this, drag it to your timeline. And presto, there's your credit roll. Now, this is so simple, it only gives you three basic formatting choices. You have title text, you have sub-item text, which is basically a single column format, and you have a dual column format, item left and item right. Um, if you want to change any one of these, you can easily do it with this button if you want to change formats based on the line uh, that it's on. Easy to do. And if you want to change anything else, like uh, styles, you just click on the item and then you can change your font, your point size, your color, whether it's bold or italic, justification, and then tracking, spacing above, below, etc., etc. Now you can do this on each of these three items, but remember this is a global formatting system, so anytime you have an item like this, like a dual column item, and you change things, um, it'll change all of them. So that's important to know, but it is okay because this is a simple system and that's why I like it. Now you've got this form right here and you can fill in items one at a time if you want manually, which isn't any fun. Or you can use this, the ability to import text from a file. Now this is really awesome because instead of doing things one at a time, you can just have it all done for you if you know the formatting. So if you, once you have all your text in your text editor, this is what it looks for. If you have a space before your word, it's a title. If there's no space, it's a sub item. If there is a tab field between two items, it's dual column. And if you just want something in the second column in a dual column format, you just start it with a tab field. And that's basically it. So let's say you have a lot of information. Maybe someone handed you a program at the end of your video shoot and said, I want all the information in this program in a credit roll at the end of the video. Well, ask them for a PDF file because if you do that, you can then go to a site like extractpdf.com, upload the PDF file, and then it will strip out all the images, text, fonts, and metadata. And we're interested in the text, so once it's done, just click on text, and it will give you a downloadable file which has all the text in the PDF. So now that you have all that information, if you format it like this by removing commas and extra spaces and carriage returns, etc., etc., you can then take it back into Sony Vegas Pro, click on this icon, and then load in that text file like so. Now that's seven pages of credits right there that is zapped into my credit roll without having to type it in. So to me, that is awesome. Now all you have to do is just do some basic formatting with these styles controls and you're all done. Another tip in Sony Vegas Pro is to be aware of this duration right here because this uh, basic credit roll is 10 seconds long. But let's say you wanna change it to 20 seconds. Change it up here. And now just be aware that your credits are gonna get chopped off because you haven't stretched out this item to the end. So look for the little notch right here which indicates the end of the 20 seconds or whatever duration you've set and just adjust it accordingly. And that's it. Good luck with your credit roll.